One of the things I know you for, you're an advocate, you're a spokesperson for, for GLAAD. For GLAAD. Mm -hmm. uh, you grew up here out in... In Rialto, in, California. In Rialto, California. And you had to come to grips with who you are. Your family had to come to grips with that. Mm -hmm. Not an easy thing. No. And, you know, I think that's the story for a lot of people, a lot of young people. You know, um, October 16th is Spirit Day. It's a anti-bullying LGBT youth awareness day across the country and a lot of kids out there are still dealing with coming out and how they come out to their family and their friends and um, it's it's not a it's not rare for people to have a, a problem. Your dad was not okay with it. He was his... not okay with it. Um, he actually did throw me out of the house at the time but we have since reconciled you know right after actually it was my so-called life with him watching the show that actually allowed him and I to reconcile. And that was groundbreaking yeah. in and of itself right? Yeah I mean I was the first gay teenager on network television back 20 years ago. Actually. That was 20 years it ago? Was at, we just celebrated the 20th anniversary. Oh, that, was Isn't that, great, amazing? that was a great series. It never got all the Look at that hair. It should have had. We're lower. Claire, look at little Claire Danes. Oh, I know. That is that face, you? That is me. I thought and it was Prince. Yeah, well, that it was very much, yeah. you know, inspired by Prince, that uh -huh. whole, his look. Yeah. Wow. Prince That's and 20 Jackson. years ago. I can't believe it. Yes. Uh, the very fact now that the, the, the concept of coming out is very public. Lots mm -hmm. of shows have been built around it. Kids are coming out who would have hidden longer. But it's not that much easier now, is it? Well, it's a little bit easier um, in the sense that there's more awareness. Um, but, you know, on a personal level for people, it's still difficult. Mm -hmm. You don't know, you know, is there, there's the fear of not knowing what people's reactions are going to be. It's, you know, the fear of disappointing your parents and what their expectations are. Um, I think parents are doing a great job in supporting their kids. Last question. How old were you when you knew that you were gay? <sighs> I was probably seven or eight. Uh, did you yeah. know what it was? Uh, I knew that I was different, mm -hmm. and that was enough to know. And I think people knew. I, people yeah. also knew I was different. Yeah. So, I think I think kids have a sense of themselves pretty early on. But you waited eleven years. I I waited eleven years to tell them. To tell yeah. them, you already. You already then, knew. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.